let us have now the manager class. So this instance or class will be responsible for the functionalities of our UI, score, the power up, and the life, and also the, um, the deactivating or activating of some game objects depending upon the instance or scenario in the game. So for example, when we reach the score of 10, uh, this winner sprite will appear, or if the life point becomes zero, a game over will appear and this buttons. So in order to add those functions and make this UI work, we're going to make the manager class. So to do that, head over to the assets and select scripts folder and let's create a C sharp script. So to make to do or to write the name of the manager class, we should be writing it exactly like this. So the name of this is game manager, game manager with a uppercase G game and manager capital m or uppercase m manager manager and hit enter so as you can see there the icon of the game manager script is different from the previous script that we have just made so let's open it up um, before that let's have first um a manager game object in our hierarchy so that we can attach this script to it so create empty let's name it game manager game manager and we're gonna attach our script there game manager and let's open this to our IDE visual studio Compiling, compiling the perks of an i tree. Hopefully, um, company or attack company would donate me. Anyway, I'm not. I'm just joking. So in the game manager class, we're gonna make this instance as static. So if you can still remember our static module or the static class module, um. In order for this to be converted into a static instance, we're gonna write public static game manager, the name of the class itself, game manager instance. Okay, we have now made or declared a static game manager instance. And we're gonna add void awake not private let's make void awake instance this and we are going to refer this instance itself so instance is equal to this so that when we make this game manager static instance we can easily access it to other scripts which will enable us to uh, make changes to the score or manipulate the UI so first, um, let's have um, the score point and the life point. So to do that, um, we're going to have to um, declare a variable for the score. So score is um, number, is represented by number. So I'm going to use int since score um, cannot be or mostly most of the time they are not represented with decimal number so let's make int we're not gonna make it public int score and that int score so we just have declared int score then in this um stance we're gonna make a separate function for that so we're gonna make it public so that it will be accessible public void score is up okay public void score is up and we're gonna call this function in the other or on other scripts so we have now score uh, so that the score yeah we have, we have there the score integer and we're gonna make this score increments 
as a particular event happens. So let's just have score plus plus. So that is um, the code for incrementing the score. It will add one, 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 and so on and so forth. So score plus plus and the semi semicolon. So let us try that first in our console. So let's head to our letter collide. So letter collide. Say for example, um, whenever the object or this le uh, this letter collide is attached to the letters. So whenever the letters collide with a game object with a tag player one, it will increment its score. So to call that function in the game manager class, we're just gonna type game manager dot instance dot the name of the function score is up score is up and semicolon and let's try to print it at print oh, not that not there it's not gonna work let's simply print score so that um, we can check if the code is working print score so as we can see we have declared our uh, variable for the score and make a function for it and we increment the score so whenever the game object collides with the player one tag game manager that instance that score is up will be called so any instruction or code within the score is up function will um, will work or will be called so let's hit ctrl s and also to the game manager class okay so let's head over to our console let's disable this game object first oh, we're not gonna need it anymore. Um, yep, also this one, the home and game over. Let's disable them first. Okay, let's see if in the console the score will increment. So let's hit the play button. Okay, let's see. Look, look. So whenever we um, catch a letter, a random letter. So in the console, so there you have it. The score increments first, second, third, fourth, fifth. But we're, we're but we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna print um, the score in the console. Instead, we're gonna show that here in the UI score that we have just made. Um, I guess I'm missing a game object here. Oh, the reference letter. It should be a letter. So sometimes this happens when, especially when you um, close the Unity game engine. Whenever uh, if you're tired or if you just want to continue the work later on, some of their properties. Um, I don't know why. I don't know the reason. Some of them are automatically changing. Even though I set it already to letter. Well, anyway, you can just set it back to its um, properties that you configured it. That, yeah. Anyway, you know my point. So, let us have that um, score not printed in the console, but here instead in the our UI. So, to do that, we're gonna add a namespace so that whenever we manipulate anything or give instruction to the UI uh, we can be able to access it so the namespace, namespace for the UI is using unity engine.ui and here since we are going to show the score as a text in our game 
we're gonna declare a variable public text um, score text or score text like that um, remember uh, you have to set first the namespace using unity engine .ui, or otherwise this text um, variable will not work so public text score text so hit ctrl s and here we're gonna delete this print score instead we're gonna write score dot score text no no not one score text dot text so the score text and we're accessing the text that we will be storing to it is equal to score since the score is the value that we will be showing in the game but since score is declared as integer and score text or text itself is a string value wherein if we are going to store a string it is a word or a group of letters compiled together this will have an error and to fix that we're gonna have to write score let's say score yep dot to string so you have there um score text we're accessing the variable score text which is stored as text then text and we're gonna show in the text the score and since the score is an integer value we converted it into string that's why we write to string so let's hit, let's hit ctrl s and see if there is any change in our game so let's hit the play button and expectedly it should appear here in the portal the portal image since this is our score let's hit the canvas again so we have score not the one score yeah that one so here in the score text it should appear but before that the, uh, let's click game manager and we're gonna store the score text which we have declared public in our um, script so we're just gonna drag the score text score text and yeah. so let's hit the play button and see if it will work okay and there we have it um, score is now being shown in the game and it, it's incrementing whenever we catch the letter but that is not going to be the case we're gonna change how we call the function since in this level the correct letter is letter M so it would be illogical to increment the score if we catch the wrong letter right so I just show you that whenever the, a letter is destroyed or being catched by the catcher and the score will increment so we will be calling the function in a separate um, manner to do that i'm gonna head over to our scripts folder and i'm gonna make a new script which will be attached to our player catcher so c sharp script and i will name it right letter collide okay i'm just gonna wait for it to compile And then I'm gonna select the player and attach it the right letter collide script and then we're gonna open it in our visual studio and here we're gonna we're just gonna include the void on trigger enter 2d and we're gonna ch change this into call so this script is now attached to the player so that whenever the player catches the right letter it will increment the score instead of catching all the letters even though 
um, the letters that are being cached is wrong, the score is still incrementing. That would be, um, that is not the goal of our game. So let's make if call that game object the tag is equal to. Let's check the tag of the letter M. M is the correct letter, and its tag is right letter. So we should write um, right letter as is or the same like this. So right letter, there are they are all in lowercase letters. So tag right letter, and here, oops, what happened? Here? And here we're gonna call the okay we're gonna call here the score is up function in our game manager instance so game manager that instance that score is up so whenever you want to call a function or a variable in our game manager instance, all of them should be declared public. So let's hit Control S. So we have there the on trigger function attached to our player. So let's hit the play button and see if the score will increment. So that is letter M, and I'm going to catch that. Okay, one point, and then the letter M again, and I don't want to catch the letter S, letter S because that is the wrong letter, S, 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 and there we have it, the score is now incrementing as we catch the correct letter. So next, we will be now uh, configuring the script for the life or the lives of our player, the lives value that we will be giving giving to our player so the lives value will decrease if the catcher catches the wrong letter so if the learner um, cannot recognize um, the letter M as fast as you could um, he or she might catch the wrong letter so we will be decreasing the score so oh, that could be or that will be the enemy of the game those wrong letters so to do that we're gonna head over again to our game manager class and let's again declare um, an integer for the life life point or let's just life uh, let's declare it or by default equal to zero and then we're gonna make a function for it public void life decrease and just the same instead of plus plus we're gonna make life um, minus minus or it will decrease so life so the ID is already suggesting the possible code that we will be writing that's the benefit of having uh, this kind of IDE or code editor well, I guess most of code editors, I like this. You just have to add some extensions in some um, code editors, not um, code editors other than Visual Studio. So life minus minus, since we're just going to decrease the life whenever we catch the wrong letter. And then we're going to also declare so that it will appear here in the text value of it. So public text UI public text um, life point so public text life point so life point the text is equal to life and since life is declared as integer we're gonna convert it to string to string and let's hit control s so as you can see, I've already deleted the update event function since we're not gonna be needing that here in our game manager instance. So let's head over to our write collide script. Oh, so maybe I shouldn't have 
name this as write collide letter script since this will not be only responsible for the um, correct letter well anyway that's the script and um, as long as it is working I don't care if it is named wrong or inappropriate so here in the private void on trigger enter we're gonna add another condition so in order to add like another condition just write the if and if call that game object that tag is equal to and now that we're gonna uh, accessing the wrong letter so the tag of the s and a is wrong letter so let's head over back to our ide wrong letter and inside here we're gonna call the game manager that instance dot what's the name of the function life decrease you can just copy this one the v and semicolon so let's see let's try to catch a wrong letter and see if the life point will decrease Okay, that's the correct letter. Let's try to catch that. M. Okay, that's a wrong letter. S. Let's see. Okay. Okay, I know the one. Mm. Okay. We haven't declared the or we haven't yet input or yep put the value of the in the game manager class. Yep, we have declared we have declared a public life point text. So we're gonna drag life text there. And also we have an error. We don't have the life value here. So in every game, whenever um, there's a life um, that is built within the player, it should have a value not zero. So here in the game manager class, by default I want my player to have three lives and also I'm gonna head over to our um, life text I'm not gonna make it zero instead I'm gonna make it three so there we have it it would be um, irrational if we put zero life and still the player is you know, is allowed to play okay and there we have it the life is decreasing whenever we catch the wrong letter so there we have it uh, it's negative one <laughs> a negative two and we're not gonna make it look like that instead we're gonna make okay what's happening here game manager What is going on? Game Manager CS33 mm -hmm. yep. just have me. What's going on here? Let's clear this one Let's see if it's uh, if this there will still be an error. Okay, no error at all. So M it will increase the score, and if you catch the wrong letter, it will decrease the life point. So that is for the life point and the score of our game. Next, uh, we're gonna add now um, the condition to what extent or uh, how many score does the player need to achieve in order to proceed to the next level. And whenever the score or whenever the life point becomes zero or equate or is equal to zero, the game over or game over will be set to true. So that will be in our 
next video.